Join my friend Leanne and I as we hunt mule and whitetail deer in southern Saskatchewan. We planned to hunt for three days and this was a great way to start day one. We had been watching this guy wander across the field for at least half an hour and finally got the shot. This guy definitely had me fooled because I was sure that he was a doe, but those tiny spikers don't lie. There was some whitetail that ran down into a little valley. It was a good buck and a doe, so we'll see how they go. They evaded Leanne, so we ended up moving on. But can you imagine trying to haul deer out of a valley? No, thank you. There's one, two, three, four. They just won't move. A pack of deer have migrated back to this sheltered area, and Leanne is on her way to go and get her buck. Unfortunately, we would be saying that a lot this weekend. Leanna and I were discussing the fact that there are white-tailed does with mule bucks. I just shot a white-tailed doe and like nobody ran away. So the thought is, is the influence of a white-tailed buck what makes the white-tailed does run? What are your thoughts? We definitely have some frisky times over here. Here is the hill upon which we slain three of our mule deer last year. It was a, a lot more snowy and then we dragged them across that fence with permission. It was glorious. Got a little stalled, waiting for some moo cows to uh, meander past us. This is the place we got to call home this weekend and it was just lovely. Bedroom, bathroom, and the bedroom here. If you're hunting around zone seven, then you need to go down and stay at console. It is day two of hunting and this is what we have at Legal Light. I don't know if we're gonna get much in these early hours of the day, but we'll find out. That is beautiful. So we ran into a bit of an issue. But thankfully, my husband and his hunting buddies were in the same area. Leanne is out hunting with her friend John. And so hopefully it's successful for her because today has just been a bit of a day. This is our second year and it's definitely been interesting. This is what happened at the end of day two. <laughs> Paint me like one of your French ladies. Curtis timed us butchering and cleaning this guy up and it only took us 11 minutes so I'm pretty proud of us. If you want some field dressing help just give us a shout. But leave me a comment if you actually do want to see this field dressing in real time. This is what we call the hunter's manicure. Freshly manicured this week. Extra manicure today. <laughs> This was a great way to start our third day of hunting. Off to hunting we go. We're gonna shoot some mule deer. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. It's off to hunting we go. We're gonna shoot them in love. And after a long day of searching, hi -ho, hi -ho, hi -ho, we finally filled our last four tags. I'm coming up on my mule deer. It is a great size. Mule deer number one. Well, mule deer number two. This is mule deer number one. A little bit smaller. I get to walk my deer from here to there. I know you can't even see this, but the truck box is full. The official status, we have six hung, the ends, monsters on the ground because we can't lift it. We are extremely tired. Here's the last two. This is our disgusting and this is a tired Jenny. It was a good hunting day. 